Hello guys and girls, boom, welcome back. We've been to an antique and collector's fair and spent some money. Mm -hmm. Got a few bits, um, I'll just share these with you um, and show you the coins. We have purchased this before 1967 crown from um, Gibraltar with a castle on. Yay, there we are. And I paid full price because I didn't like to barter for that one. Uh, so... Uh, couldn't resist a bargain there you know <laughs> i don't know whether it's a bargain or not but to me four pounds for a crown is a good price 1967 how old's that 53 55 years old there we are i ain't complaining <laughs> i bought purchased these uh first aid covers with um one pound coins in the old round one pound coins these are i assume part of a set we've got an isla man one pound coin from Peel not in the Isle of Man. There's a coin there. And on the obverse, you have the late Queen Elizabeth II. I'll do them in reverse order. Move that over that side. Then we have um, Guernsey, Ballywick of Guernsey, same again, 1983. And this one has a ship on it, but I don't know which ship it is. Hmm. Doesn't say on the coin as far as I can see. Let's have a look with the spyglass. One pound and then 1983. You can't see anything on the side of the ship. And on the obverse, it's the three lions and uh, Bellywick of Guernsey. So no, there's no clues on there and there's nothing on the information, on, on or there's no information on the inside, which I thought there might be an information card. And then the last one is a St. Helier jersey one pound coin. It's like a parish's coin, I believe. There we are. There's the stamp. And there's the late Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse. Okay, so that was a little bundle and that little bundle cost £10. They were marked up at £8 and then they were in a, a plastic box for half price and then for the, brought the three together and because I bought some other things from this um, couple we managed to get those for £10 so I thought that was good. Mr T got himself a bargain. <laughs> it says uh, tw 2011 proof coins 50p the lot. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's see what we got for 50p. Uh, what's that, 20? These are proof coins. You can tell by the finish. Can you see, like, it's like a frosted finish. That's just the, the plastic wallet you can see there, but you can see it's tidy. So we've got 50p, and there's 10p. That's 60. 60? That's 30. <laughs> Double your money and take it away. <laughs> 35 let's stop it 35 that's 37p 38p for 50p so that was 12 pence really well that's the way i work it out anyway yeah still got 38 pence so we've only laid out 12 pence on those and mm, big buy of the day is you guessed it northern ireland commonwealth games I'll do a big photograph for you, a close-up, so you can see the detail on here. Because it's very difficult. You need a, a glass to have a look at. Let's have a look, see if you can see through my glass here. The light isn't very good because I'm, oh, I keep trying to settle down in the flat and I'm not quite where I want to be yet. The lighting's not good enough. And the heating's not good enough either. <laughs> but we'll get there. Now then. Commonwealth Games, Northern Ireland. How much would you pay? Mm. How much would Mr. T pay? Mm, not a lot. So we started talking to one dealer who said he had one for £50. And the coin was pretty much beasted. It had been round. You know, I don't mean, you know, knocked about, but it was definitely well circulated. So uh, we walked away from that one and went and spoke to a very nice couple. And uh, I was talking that I want telling the lady I was looking for a Northern Ireland. She said, well, I've got one. I said, have you? She said, yeah, I'll get out of the box because these things come out of a box out the back. Um, 
And when I asked how much it was, she said 35. So, of course, after being offered one for 50 pounds, I thought, oh, is that not that can't be too bad? You know, it's a lot, you know, the big reduction in price there. So um, I said, what about 30 pounds? And the gentleman said 32 so you can pay for us to have a cup of tea. <laughs> I said, hang on a minute, then I'm just going to speak to my husband. And he took a look at Mr. T and said 31 then. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you can take him shopping with you if you want to. <laughs> he's good at, like, yeah, I know, he's good at, um, you know, a bit of bartering. Now, he did go um the other way at the end of the deal because I was hoping that I might be able to do some sort of deal. And I took some of my duplicates out of my duplicate box in my pocket and they were all in little plastic wallets like this, all tidy coins. They weren't, uh, you know, they weren't uh, too bad they were in from circulation out of my coin hunts but they were tidy and um the lady said oh you wouldn't sell those for three pound would you and i said no no i wouldn't and i had a beijing handover and a rio handover and she wanted those coins and mr t said oh she'd sell them for five pounds each I'm not saying a word because I don't know whether that's good or not. I just thought, oh, hang on a minute, do I want to sell them for five pounds each? But of course, obviously, um, you know, I stuck with it. You know, I said yes, yeah, you can have them for five pounds each, and um, no, I didn't kick him on the way out. <laughs> I just thought, oh, I don't know whether that's good or not, and I'd like you to tell me in the comments below. I don't do valuate valuing coins. I don't know what they're worth, and. Um, if I found that coin in a coin hunt, I'd be absolutely over the moon. And not because it's above face value, but because I need it for my collection. Mm. Now I've got four uh, collections of £2 coins. I've got my first collection, which I have been swapping out and putting all the tidy coins in the box, in the, in the uh, lighthouse display boxes. And... Um, I purchased one of these and put it in there. I can't remember how much I paid. I wish I could, but I can't. And uh, the other three haven't got one. One, the, the four, book four is what I'm searching at the moment. I'm looking for one for that, but I've still got the other two. One's for somebody else and one's a full date run. So, um, yeah, so I still need two more, but I'm going to stick it out a little bit longer. But I thought, oh, just in case, because they're going to get more and more scarce. And, oh, by the way, I did see a Kew Gardens in one of these first day covers today. And it was £180. And there was um, a set of four bunk um, Commonwealth games in a set and another dealer. And that was £140, which I didn't think was too bad. But... I didn't want to spend all that money on those coins. So hmm. there we are. So let me know what you think in the comments below of our shopping and trip. And um, <laughs> did the man do good? Mm -hmm. That'll be interesting. See what your comments are on that. Um, and um, I'll be back for a £2 coin hat on Thursday. But it depends on whether I get any mail, whether I do a mail call or not. Um, I do have some things due, but uh, the post is all over the place. Also, I have the world coins to go through. And when I've been to the charity shop this week, um, uh, Brian very kindly um, made an offer on that um, um, Euro wallet. I've ordered another wallet, by the way. I'm going to make another one up. And uh, he um, bid £25 and he's paid and I've sent and he's received those coins from me. Uh, and so I'm going to take the money, the cash to the um, charity shop and that way we can um, get the receipts out because I always show the receipts to prove that I've paid it in and uh, that goes for all my others. I think somebody actually um, made a bid on something else but they paid the money to the charity Now I didn't add that to the total because I didn't actually pay it in and get the receipt So, um, but I do have a copy of the receipt for you if you need to see that. There we are. Okay guys and girls, I uh, look forward to the next one. Take care until then. Bye bye.